Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the EQ series, a very unique feature of the eMedicos app. Every Wednesday, we are coming up with a unique question for you people. Yes, I am Dr. Siddharth, public health specialist for you with a very good question on confidence. I hope after this viewing this EQ, you do have a confidence on analyzing these questions. AIM's favorite topic for biostatistics, yes? You want to assess the association of diabetes mellitus with MI. The results of the literature search are as following. Which is significant? Small sample size, large sample size and best study. These are the four questions. And they have given you such kind of data. Now before actually approaching the question, let us understand some basics. In interpretation of confidence, the first and foremost thing you should understand that there are three rules. Rule A, Rule B, Rule C. You have to apply these rules in a sequence. Rule A, if it touches the null value, it will be insignificant. Now, what is the null value? Now, when we talk about odds ratio and relative risk, if it is equal to 1, it means no association. That is the null value. So, odds ratio odds ratio and relative risk equal to 1 refers to null value. Second, more the point estimate, better it is. See, if I see, say the odds ratio of smoking e-cigarette is 1.4, of smoking normal cigarette is 2.4 and smoking BD is 3.4 and I ask you which is most dangerous, answer will be BD because 3.4 is far away from 1. Third rule, narrower CI, better it is. If I say 1.222 and I say 1.3 to 2.3, which is better? 1.2, 1.522. Narrower CI is always better because a narrower CI means the sample size is that huge. So let us see over here. In this question, odds ratio is 2. Excellent. But the 95% CI is 1. As per rule number A, if it touches the null value, it is insignificant. Same for the rule number for the study with Smith et al. Yes, same for Kelly et al. So only significant study was done by Khan. Yes, we love the Khans, Shah Rukh Khan, Salman and Ahmed. The same thing happens over here where they would be getting a significant result. Yes, so it is the best study. Now you cannot say which is the worst because we can't pick it up. The studies by all other researchers is not good. Now let us look into sample size. CI is inversely proportional to sample size. So let us see the CI. Over here the CI is 0.4. Over here the CI is 0.8. Over the CI is 0.7. Here it is 2.4. Now the CI over here is least. So maximum sample size was with Kelly et al. Whereas minimum sample size was by John et al. Yes, I hope it is clear. So, this is how you approach such question. Again to revise, there are three rules A, B and C. A, if the CI touches the null value, it is insignificant. So, null value is 1 when you talk about odds ratio relative risk. Rule B, more the distance of point estimate. Now, what is point estimate? It is odds ratio. Yes, more the distance of this, more is the significance. Rule C, smaller the CI, more the sample size. Always remember that you have to use this in a sequence. Yes, as A, then B, then C. You have to use them in a sequence. Yes, so I hope you gained good degree of knowledge in this particular EQ. Tune up every Wednesday, yes, for this EQ series, which is a very unique feature of the DAMS exclusive club. Yes, fine. Thank you. Bye-bye.